Hello, and welcome to the final Great Words, Great Works video for the 2018 program year. We hope you've enjoyed our grade specific videos, and today we have a little Q&A with the editorial team to learn about where the Great Words, Great Works list comes from and how you can get involved in next year's list. So you've seen all of my colleagues before, but I'll go ahead and reintroduce them. We have Lori, Maggie, and Molly, and I'm Tyler, and I believe Maggie is going to give us a little refresher as to what the Great Words, Great Works list actually is. So the Great Words, Great Works list is a curated list of, this year we have 41 books on it, and typically each year we have about five to six books per grade level. We try to find um, a nonfiction title as well as a classic title, and then we round out the list with some more contemporary fiction. Each book at each grade level we draw words from. So all 450 words on the school spelling bee study list come from this list of 41 titles. So for example, if you have a second grader and they're reading Little Dog Lost, you can find the word frogs, which is on their second grade study list. So I know that the editorial team curates this list every year. Did you want to give us a little bit of insight into how that whole process works? Every book that makes it onto the Great Words, Great Works list has been evaluated for several different criteria. The first of which is just, it's a great story. It's well-written, it's interesting and fun. The second is the content's pretty clean, pretty clean, and it's age appropriate. The third and it's, it has really good, rich vocabulary and great spelling words in it. And of course, the fourth is that it's available on our e-books for Kindle. And then finally, some of the books that we avoid, we try to avoid books that have a lot of foul language and then also books that are very popular that a lot of students maybe have read before or that teachers are using to teach from. So we try to keep them unique and interesting and just great books. And I know that Molly has a couple ways for you at home, our teachers and parents and even spellers to get involved with next year's list. Absolutely, so we want everyone watching to be involved in the development of the 2018-2019 Great Words, Great Works list. So teachers, think of that student in your class who claims that they hate to read, but they read that one book over and over and over again. What book is that? And spellers and students watching, what book did you absolutely love reading this year that you want us to tell everybody about? And parents, what book did you read when you were little that you would just love for your children to read now? We want to know. So click on the link at the bottom of this screen and fill out our very short three question survey so that we can take your nominations, read your favorite books, and maybe they'll be included on next year's list. That's so exciting. Yeah. I hope you all will take advantage of that. Thank you so much for watching our Great Words, Great Works video series. We've really enjoyed putting these videos together for you and we hope that they've been helpful. As you wait for next year's videos, we hope you'll follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay in the know about everything that's going on in our beehive.